So one of you guys came up with the most brilliant idea ever. Someone called Danielle said go onto Google Earth and click anywhere randomly and the first building you see, you have to build. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. And I thought this was such a genius idea. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing. So let's head over to Google Maps. Okay, so here we are on Google Maps. I would do Google Earth except with Google Earth, you can't actually click the house and see what it is. So Google Maps is gonna have to do. So here we are in my country, Australia. Although I don't think I'm gonna do Australia because let's be honest, 99% of it is literally desert. Literally, if I pick somewhere random in Australia and zoom all the way in, we are literally in the sand dunes. So no, what I'm gonna do is close my eyes and I guess click a random country starting now. Okay, well that's the Pacific Ocean, so I can't really build. <laughs> The Pacific Ocean. Okay, hold on. We're gonna do this again. One, two, three. Uh, boom. All right, what is this? Russia. Oh, well, I just clicked here, I think. So I guess I just zoom in. 99% of this is just gonna be grass. What is this? Okay, this is uh the Lena River in Russia. Should I even be doing Russia? I feel like Russia... Isn't Russia banned in Roblox? Okay, well, I found someone's house. The only problem is it's not letting me actually look at their house. So we have to pick another country. Guys, <laughs> we might be here for a while. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, okay, open. My mouse landed on ND. What is ND? Oh, <laughs> North Dakota. Right, I knew that. Okay, so somewhere in North Dakota. Wow, imagine if I landed on Alaska. Okay, North Dakota. We're just gonna zoom in to something random, which is probably gonna be in the middle of nowhere. I was correct. We're gonna kind of find the nearest house in North Dakota. Okay, I found this place called Napoleon. Oh, look at this, Napoleon high school. That's kind of cute. Okay, I guess I can just close my eyes and just pick a random house. Okay, I found a house. Who is my victim? This person. Okay, I found my victim. 202 Ave Crescent. Napoleon, North Dakota. Do any of you live here? If so, I'm going to be building your house in Bloxburg. Okay, this is actually quite a cute little home. It's very yellow. Again, if you live here, no hate to you. Why would you paint your house yellow? Also, whoever lives here, very, very close to your school. This just seems like a cute, small town. Okay, so I guess I'm going to take photos of like each angle of the house. It's got a very interesting layout. No backyard, I've noticed. The only problem with this house is I don't really know the layout of it unless I copy the address and put it in Google. <laughs> yeah, that's the only problem. Nothing shows up, but I guess we're gonna have to try and guess the floor plan of this mysterious house. All right, so let's head over to Bloxburg and try and recreate this house. I mean, you know what? At least it wasn't like a mega mansion. Like the layout looked pretty simple from what I gathered. Okay, so this is a photo of the side of the house. We've got a window here, two windows there there. And then the back's a little bit confusing because this wasn't too big, but it also had an extended room here, which I have got no clue what on earth is going in here. Oh, maybe this back room's the garage because if you look at the house from this angle, it has the garage on the right side of the house. So yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I think that looks pretty accurate. Now we just have to guess what on earth is going in this house. By the looks of it, it looks pretty small. I'm assuming it's a two bedroom, one bathroom scenario. So the door's right at the front in the middle. So I'm assuming this is the living room and maybe we can have bedroom one over here and maybe the bathroom here. It's a very confusing layout. We can have a two by three bathroom. I'm assuming the bathroom is relatively small. Watch your mouth. So now for the front of the house, never in my wildest dreams would I have thought to paint my house yellow, but here we are. I need to talk to the designers of this house. We need to have a little chat. Oh, and if we zoom down here, they've got brick wall trims. I genuinely cannot get over the fact of thinking, what if this is actually someone's house? Like what if someone is watching this video and I'm literally building their house? I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill. You know what? I might make this into a series. So you know what? Drop your addresses in the comments below. I'm kidding. Do not do that. Do not do that, please. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. 
I'm simply here to apologize. But you know what, if you guys would like to see this into a little series, I feel like this would be very fun. We'll have our fake staircase right here, just like the photo. I guess it's a good thing that we got an easy house for the first ever home. I don't know why I was expecting a full mega mansion. The inside will be pretty easy to decorate because I'm going for a traditional suburban house. This house actually weirdly reminds me of my home. My house actually looks very similar to this house. So you know what, we can base the furniture off of the furniture my mum has. She is a traditional suburban lady. I'm kind of basing my windows where the windows are placed in the photo. So at the back here, it looks like there's two windows. And if we zoom in, there's a little sneaky window there and another door. That's actually one thing I noticed about this house. There are so many doors. I don't even know where these doors are leading to, but I need to know. Okay, I think we've accurately placed all the windows. Let me see the side. Oh, wait, no, I see a sneaky little window on the side of the garage. There we go. This garage looks pretty similar to the one in the photo. I wish I could find out the person who lives here and just be like, hey, I actually built your house. Um, sorry about that. I really want to build this house as accurately as possible from the footpath all the way to the flowers at the front. The footpath looks a little overgrown, so maybe we can have dirt patches in the color of grass. They have a few shrubs at the front, which honestly reminds me so much of my mum. My mum is obsessed with gardening. She has so many plants outside my window. It's not even funny. I want to add this pink flower at the front, but unfortunately I can't place rose because I don't have enough skills. So we're gonna place flowers and just make them big. See, look how cute that looks. I'm loving this house already. I think the next thing we need to do is the roof, which by the looks of it, just looks like a mansard roof. So we're gonna hope this roof does the house justice. I think that's kind of similar, right? Yes. And I'm kind of jealous because by the looks of it, they have an AC out their window. How is that like? Because right now I don't have AC and it's about to become summer. So <laughs> I wanna die. What the hell is the aircon called? Aircon. No. AC. No. I swear Bloxburg has aircon. What the hell? What is it called? Oh my god. I'm trying myself crazy. What is the aircon called in Bloxburg? The breeze air conditioner. Aha! I found it. It only took me to Google it. Okay, and I think that's the outside of their house complete. Are we missing any secret doors? Oh, what are you? I smell a secret door right here. And what are these stairs? They've got more stairs leading into... I have no idea because I don't live here. And now I think think the outside is complete. Wait, what if I go like all the way down the street and zoom in? Can I see what they have? Ah, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> It looks like they have a balcony of some sort right here. I don't know how I nearly missed that. That's crazy. Every time I think I'm done with the outside, they have a little sneaky door. Like, what is this down here? What is that little room lead into? A basement? Oh, wait, this is America. Of course, they have basements. The concept of a basement is so creepy to me. Like, what do you mean there is a whole other room underneath my feet right now? Absolutely not, mate. All right, we're adding a pipe on the side of the house because they also have a pipe. Also, what's of Americans having the American flag at the front. Like, I know y'all love your country, but goddamn. Okay, I think we've done a good job. We're done. We are done. And now it is time to decorate the inside of this house. Only problem, I have no idea what the inside looks like. Usually, when I don't know what the inside looks like, I will base the interior design from the exterior design. I already know what I'm going to do for the kitchen. Picture a early 2000s wooden kitchen. That's kind of what I'm going to go with. And I'm thinking for the wall color, a nice nostalgic cloudy gray. With well, I mean, of course, a little feature wall here and there. Spice it up a little bit. And I'm giving them a green bathroom because I said so. To whoever lives here, I'm sorry if your bathroom does not look like this, but now it does. You are welcome. I want to believe that the bedrooms have carpet. Matter of fact, we're going to do carpet for the rest of the house. Carpet is so nostalgic to me. Okay, that is the color palette we are going for. Stop. I love this house already. It's a little bit difficult because I don't know the inside lighting for the house but I'm assuming they've added these big lights in a yellow undertone. Usually I hate houses with yellow lights, but at the same time, I love it because it gives me that sense of nostalgia that my house at home actually also has. The living room isn't really big, so I don't want to have a massive living room area. Houses like this make me feel more at home compared to those big, empty, modern mansions nowadays. Like, modern houses have no character. Houses like these have character. Like 
Like you walk in and you feel the warmth in the house. I'm thinking we can have a coffee table in the middle. I mean, this is in South Dakota after all. We'll give them an American themed coffee mug. This ain't Texas. This is South Dakota. I mean, personally, I think Alaska is the best state, but call me biased. Okay, I think we've done a good job on the living room. And then for the entrance, we'll just do something very simple. Nothing too crazy bananas. Oh, I also want heaps of pictures in here. I don't know why. This house just screams I have a lot of photos of my family. Unless they don't have a family. And that would be a little bit, a little bit awkward. All right, and that's our entrance. So now for the kitchen. This is the vibes, okay? Classic early 2000s wooden kitchen. I think my mum bought our house in the early 90s. So believe it or not, I actually still have a wooden kitchen. She's timeless, darling. All my friends have a new, like, up-to-date modern kitchen, and I'm over here just rocking my early 2000s wooden kitchen, and we love it. The kitchen is a little bit too small to add a big island bench, so we're just gonna add a little basic one. Most newer houses have dishwashers, so you know what? We'll give them a dishwasher, and then the sink can go over here. And then we just need to add some character to this kitchen, because you know what? These people, they love to cook. I love how I'm just giving random backstory to whoever lives in this house. Like, who are these people? What are their names? I have no clue, but I'm giving them a telephone. The people even still have home phones. Like, what even happened? Everyone just like stopped using them. Okay, we're having groceries here. Because again, I want this kitchen to feel alive. You know what I never add to my kitchens? Trash cans. We need to start adding trash cans. A recycle and a garbage, okay? We're going for realistic suburban house over here. So next up is the bathroom. I'm not sure if these people have a bathtub. But you know what? We're going to be nice and give them a bathtub shower combo. Wait, I just realized these people have two doors. Oh, you know what? I'm getting rid of this door. I don't care. I don't care that you have a door here. I'm getting rid of it. And we shall give these people some plants in their bathroom. They could hate plants for all I know, but not today. Okie dokie. Now for your toilets, where you release your bowels. Um, what the hell is this? An outhouse? What in Shrek swamp are you doing here? Okay, I think that's a cute, accurate bathroom. The next thing I want to do is the bedroom. Because this is only a one bedroom house, I think I'm gonna make this a double bed. Although the only problem is this bedroom is very small. Okay, I know the perfect idea for this room. This is gonna be like every early 2000s teen bedroom. You know what this makes me wanna do? This makes me wanna do like a decade build battle where each person represents a different decade. Basing this room off of what my sister's room looked like back in like 2010. And with peace and love, she was a bit of a mess. She's watching this. Um, no, you're not. Click away. <laughs> this is making me laugh. You don't understand how accurate this is. She also had a bunch of posters around her wall, specifically of Twilight. So that's what I'm also doing. Um, we can't forget her wardrobe, of course, with her TV. And for that final little touch of nostalgia, string lights around the room. I feel like every person had string lights in their room in the early 2000s. So last but not least, we have the garage. And the question is, what kind of car does this person drive? Hmm. We're gonna give them a fancy board bullet. Yeah, I feel like they might drive a car like this. What about a motorbike? Do people in South Dakota ride motorbikes? But you know what? That's all I'm adding in the garage because quite frankly, I don't care about the garage. <laughs> so the house we chose from Google Maps is complete. It comes to $110,000, which when I actually researched this house a little bit more, this was the median price range from the house is in South Dakota. Oh, sorry, North Dakota. So this is what the house looks like from Google Maps. And this is what the house looks like in Bloxburg. I think we've done a pretty good job replicating the outside. However, the only problem was doing the inside. But I think we got the theme pretty accurate. I just wanted a nice little traditional suburban home. And you know what? It feels very nostalgic. The only problem is Bloxburg does not let anyone apparently change their decals. So, uh, Bloxburg, when you fix this, please let me know. Because right now, I cannot change these decals. Like, who is this family and why are they on the wall? Like, who are these people? I don't know. Who knows? So, yeah, we have a classic wooden 2000s kitchen with the bathroom in here. Very simple bathroom, but, you know, it does the job. And then we, of course, have the bedroom, which, you know what? Bedroom is definitely my favorite room in this house. Like, these modern houses nowadays could not 
never. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me recreating this house from Google Maps. I would actually love to continue this series with you guys. So if you enjoyed today's video, definitely comment and let me know and I'll see you in the next one. And who knows, maybe next time I will build your house or be in your house. Just kidding. Bye.